Cannibal frat boy's dad says sorry and reveals his son's erratic behavior. The father of Cannibal, Austin Haruf, says his life has become a nightmare since his son was accused of murdering two people and eating their flesh. Fighting back tears, a distraught doctor Wade Haruf said his son was suffering from mental illness and was acting manic on the night of the double murder. Police found Haruf, 19, making animal noises and using his teeth to tear chunks of flesh off John Stevens' body. John's wife, Michelle Mishkin, 53, lay dead next to him. The pair had been stabbed and bludgeoned to death in their garage in Tequesta, near Palm Beach, Florida. This is the biggest nightmare I could ever dream of. He's such a good person. He'd never knowingly do something like that. The 14 ST six-footer was studying exercise science at Florida State University and was a keen wrestler and American footballer. The shocking crime occurred on the evening of August 15th after Haruf had stormed out of dinner with his father and sister in a rage. He then walked to his mother's home, where he guzzled vegetable oil and parmesan cheese before leaving again. It was then he is alleged to have attacked the couple in their garage. Police say Haruf also drank chemicals in the garage during his frenzy. He is now in hospital with his organs malfunctioning as a result Wade told the Palm Beach Post that Haruf is in a critical but stable condition, but has a malfunctioning liver, fluid in his lungs and a bleeding esophagus. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder said Haruf will be charged with two counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted first-degree murder upon his release. The att attempted first-degree murder charges stems from the injuries inflicted on the couple's neighbor, Jeff Fisher, 47 who suffered stab wounds trying to intervene. The FBI is running tests to determine whether Haruf, who had finished his first year at Florida State University and was home for the summer, was under the influence of hallucinogenic drugs. Substances such as flaca or bath salts have both been linked to violent outbursts, including cases of cannibalism. But Snyder said there were no traces of common street drugs, including cocaine, marijuana, and methamphetamine in Haruf's system. The toxicology reports will provide a big piece of the unknown, Snyder said. Snyder also has said that investigators know the who, the what, the when, the where and the how of the attack, but the why remains a mystery. Solving that mystery doesn't matter so much to Stephen's son and daughter. They say they want him to face execution. It is not super important to me what his mindset was, John Stevens foretold the South Florida Sun Sentinel. I just want to see the prosecutor ask for the death penalty. I want him to go through that process and to pay for what he did. Ivy Stevens agreed. I hope he makes a full recovery so he can be put through the justice system. Haruf's parents, Wade and Mina Haruf, issued a statement expressing their condolences to the Stevens family and their apologies to Fisher for the pain and suffering caused by Austin. There are no words we can offer to give any real comfort for this tragic loss the statement says. We love our son and know that he is not the person some are making him out to be. Meanwhile, newly released cop radio transmissions have revealed deputies confronted chaos at the scene of the double killing. When a dispatcher asks the first Martin County deputy on the scene if she has the suspect controlled, she responds, 
No, sir. I have this guy wrapped around him, and he is biting him. Sheriff Snyder has said it took numerous deputies, jolts from a stun gun and a dog to pry Haruf off of John. At one point during the struggle, a garbled transmission that sounds like, oh no, can be heard. After Haruf is finally subdued, the first deputy let out a plaintive sigh and then told dispatchers, possible two sevens, the agency's code for dead people. Another deputy then asks for paramedics and crime scene technicians, adding, we need them in here now. They also directed that an ambulance be sent across the street to the home of Jeff Fisher. South Florida has been hit by an epidemic of abuse of the Chinese-made designer drug, which has caused disturbing behavior and mental breakdown in many users. One user, with what police called superhuman strength, was recently found kicking in the hurricane doors at the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Officials said Haruf's parents were so worried by his behavior after he stormed out of the restaurant that they called police and members of his college fraternity in a futile attempt to find him. Before the attack, John Stevens ran a lawn business and his wife was the daughter of former North Miami Beach Mayor Jeffrey Mishkin. Neighbor Amy Lurie said the couple would often sit in the garage with the door open while watching television and wave and talk to passersby while their Labrador retriever played in the yard. The gory double murder echoes the infamous zombie face eater case in Miami in 2012. Rudy Eugene, the causeway face attacker, chomped a homeless man's face in a random attack while high on cannabis. Haruf had been in a coma following the deadly attack, but now, after 11 days, has